Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. We are continuing our look at the book of Psalms, uh, and we're going to be in Psalm 94 this morning. And uh, I want to set this up a little bit, but before I do that, I actually want to read a little bit of the beginning of it and then set it up a little further. So Psalm 94 starts in verse 1. O Lord, God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, O God of the earth, repay to the proud what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked reign? How long shall the wicked exalt? He goes on just to express more of the desire for the the wicked that are around him to suffer and to be brought forth to judgment. And so as we look at this from the very beginning, we see this is what's called a psalm of lament. Uh, This is uh, actually a very common, the most common specific form of lament in the book of Psalms. There's uh, just under one third of all of the Psalms contained in the book of Psalms are of the form of lament. Some of them are individual lament. Uh, God, things are happening poorly in my life directly. Some of them are more communal laments. God, our nation is suffering. Our nation needs help. Uh, But one third of them are Psalms of lament. And I think this is important because Far too often I talk with individuals and they think that their prayers need to be positive. They need to be happy and chipper and always smiley and everything's great. And it's always interesting when I say, hey, you can, you can complain to God. And they, they look at me like, that's not allowed. They need to be happy and just find the positive things and praise Him. And I said, yes, you should praise Him, but you can also complain. You can also explain, express frustration and and, and uh, things that are are causing you to be burdened with anger and doubt and all of these things. God wants all of you, not just a filtered form of you like we'd post on social media. He He wants the raw, unfiltered thoughts and emotions that are expressed in you. And I love that as we're given a book of Psalms, which is is almost a, a, a journal of prayers that are, are laid out to God. Some of them are songs, some of them are, are poems, some of them are meant to be used in, in public settings. Some of them we've uh, frequently used in public settings, like Psalm 23 uh, in, in moments of, of pain and grief. Uh, you know, almost every funeral at some point contains Psalm 23. Uh, so some of these are, are very public in, in their use. But a lot of them are are just very private, intimate documentations of the psalmist's desire and and their prayers to God. And a third of them are of the form of lament. A third of them have these these almost negative thoughts about the things that are going on that are being expressed. So uh, at the beginning, I want to give you permission for your prayers to be of that same vein for you to pray some laments when it's appropriate, for you to express frustrations and aggravations and fears and doubts and the things that that burden you. But I want you to as well learn from the Psalms of where this goes, because it's far too easy to just sit in that, to just sit in our frustrations, to sit in our anger, to sit in our fear, to sit in our hesitations. But listen to what happens in Psalm 94 here. We already talked at the beginning. It starts, oh God of vengeance. You know, kind of, if that's the first few words, you know that's where it's going. Like, So with that in mind, let's skip down to verse 14. He says, for the Lord will not forsake his people. He will not abandon his heritage for justice will return to the righteous and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked? Who stands for me against the evildoers? If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. See, in the midst of this moment of of frustration, of fear, of desire for vengeance and injustice, the psalmist paused to remember the times when God had been present the times where where God had protected him and been there to help him, the times when when God held him up. I love that verse. When I thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. Verse 18 there. And even remembered the times that God had encouraged him. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. So let me encourage you. If you're in a a season of life where lamenting is maybe easier than focusing on the positives, 
The, the things around you may be causing that, but I want you to do exactly what the psalmist did and go and look at the times where God was present. Look at the times where God protected you and showed up in your life. Look at the times where God held you up, where, where things were falling apart and he, he held you up as if you were falling off a cliff. Look at the times where God encouraged you and cheered up your spirit. Because even though the things around us may be chaotic, we remember that God is our help. Verse 17, if the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. Let's not live in the land of silence, but instead let's live in a land where we're praising God, where we're praying to Him and expressing all of who we are, but also recognizing all the ways that He showed up in our life in mighty and amazing ways, because that's what's going to help get us through those seasons of lament. Hope that you have a good day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.